I decided to shoot and edit this video entirely on Pixel 7 Pro using Luma Fusion, and I'll be talking a little bit about that experience at the end of this video. What's up guys, it's Mitchell, and we have a vacation review special of the Pixel Buds Pro. Now, I got the chance to get these the day before I left for vacation here in the southern part of Vietnam. That included a plane trip, so I got to experience these firsthand with the ANC and compare the ANC of these headphones back to back with the Soundpeats Mini Pro. Now, for any of you wondering, I am in the island of Phu Quoc in Phu Quoc, Vietnam. It's an island really, really close to Cambodia. Came here with some of my friends for just kind of a Christmas getaway and using these headphones a lot for actually navigating around the city by scooter. And that takes me into talking about kind of what this initial experience has been like with the Pixel Buds Pro. And I have to say, they've been quite versatile. They fulfilled a lot of the needs and desires I have as a versatile pair of headphones. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys talking about each of the individual specs, but battery life with these things, if you're not using ANC or ambient mode, is absolutely incredible. We're talking like eight and a half hours, nine hours usage uh, just in regular headphone mode without transparency or ANC. That's incredible. That's right up there. Some of the best headphones I've used uh, with ANC. It seemed like you would get around six and a half or so hours uh, of playback time with ANC on. Uh, I couldn't kill these and I took them out of my ears finally when they had like 30% and I'd been using them for about four and a half hours with ANC. So between six and a half, seven hours playback with ANC in these headphones is what you guys can expect. Next up, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about what a standout feature of these headphones was, and that was actually the microphone. Now, I, I called one of my friends while I was riding my scooter at about 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, we have some wind out here in Phu Quoc, and on the scooter, with all that noise, my friend said he could hear me totally fine. He said it sounded a little bit uh, kind of digital, but that was really, really surprising, especially because these headphones kind of don't have a stem and a directional microphone. What's up guys, it's Mitchell. Super windy right now. We even have some background noise. Using the Pixel Buds right now to record the Bluetooth audio directly into my phone. So how do I sound? Next up is sound quality. Now sound quality for these has been surprisingly good. And to be honest, I was expecting to be let down because of the price point of these headphones and especially compared to the fact that I've reviewed a lot of very good uh, 60, 70, 80 dollar active noise canceling headphones. That said, sound quality of these is definitely better and it's much closer to the dedicated IEM style of headphones, uh, the truly wireless headphones I got from KZ Audio. I would say that level of sound quality, maybe even a little bit better with that active noise canceling. Now that active noise canceling, when I got to test it out back to back on my flight with the Soundpeats Mini Pro, uh, the difference was not a humongous difference. That said, the part, the, the subtlety, the, the kind of minor difference between the Soundpeats Mini Pro and the Pixel Buds Pro was definitely in kind of some of that mid-range rumble, I guess you would say. Uh, and that extra little bit made a very noticeable difference when using both of these headphones back to back on my flight. Definitely a win goes to the Pixel Buds. Another area that has been absolutely fantastic with the Pixel Buds has been their transparency mode. Now, for me, the ultimate test of a headphone's transparency mode is how well uh, that pair of headphones can function when I'm having to speak my second language of Vietnamese. Oftentimes, headphones will not allow me to hear the subtle differences in tone, and Vietnamese being a tonal language means that the transparency mode of a lot of headphones really is just unsuitable for me. That said, even here uh, on vacation, I've been able to carry on conversation in Vietnamese using the transparency mode. That's really surprising, and that's really, really telling of the quality of the microphones and the fact that those microphones can pick up things in the ambient environment. And it seems like Google might be doing some type of AI magical data processing because I do notice that vocals come across very strong when using the transparency mode of the Google Pixel Buds Pro. Objective thing that I want to cover with these headphones is their sound quality. Now, sound quality of them is really, really good. And Google has some magic that they do with utilizing 
uh, the microphones on the inside and outside of the headphones to go ahead and give you like an adaptive EQ. So depending upon the loudness or the ambient level of noise you have, it will change that EQ to give you the best listening experience. In my testing, I would say that these headphones have a really consistent sound. And I think that part of that has to do with the fact that there's some adaptive magic going on in the background. That brings me into the next point with these headphones is the magic that Google kind of does with the Google integrated assistant controls. So when you have headphones in your ears, you long and hold one of those headphones, it will summon the assistant, it will tell you what your notifications are for the day and it will allow you to go ahead and uh, actually act on some of those notifications, respond to messages. Also, the headphones have an always on, okay, Google, okay, G, uh, uh, hot word detection in them and use the microphone of the headphones which is great if you have your if you have your phone in another part of the room and you still want to use Google Assistant. This brings us to talking about the final and possibly the most important thing which is whether or not the USP or the unique selling point of Google Assistant being integrated is enough to really sell you on the idea of these headphones because there's a lot of other headphones that have excellent active noise canceling that I've tested. Headphones such as the Soundpeats uh, Mini Pro, such as the Halu HT05, uh, those headphones have really, really good active noise canceling. It might not be as good, but it's really, really close. And those are headphones that cost a quarter of as much. That said, if you like the idea of having that integrated assistant with you and all of these smart features, then what you are going to get is a headphone user experience that is much different than other really good high quality headphones that I've used. It's a difference in user experience-ness, in user experience and reliability of that experience so that no matter what your outside noise environment is, the headphones are doing extra processing to give you a better listening experience in that environment. I'd really say that another unique selling point of these headphones is that while they give you a very airy, very open feeling, they're able to instantly shut that feeling of open airiness off with their active noise canceling. And they don't necessarily rely on a fit that creates a stethoscopic effect to give you that isolation from the outside world. So if these are things that you really, really can kind of accept as these awesome features that you're willing to pay for, along with multi-point actually, and being part of the whole Google ecosystem, then I would tell you that these headphones do make a very unique selling point. Or selling, blah, blah, blah. these headphones do make a lot of sense as their unique selling, selling points kind of line up with what you're looking for. That said, if you're just looking for the best sound quality possible, you'll probably find better headphones. But if you're looking for headphones that integrate and offer you the ability to do everything that you love from your smart assistant and are kind of like a gateway to smart assistant for hands-free connectivity and hands-free helpfulness, well, these headphones obviously do a better job than anything else I've used. And I would say that they are kind of worth it because they have that unique selling point of being kind of integrated into the Google ecosystem. Luma Fusion on Pixel 7 Pro has been a really, really good experience. It feels a lot like a simplified version of Adobe Premiere Pro, which is the most common NLE for video editing. And it is really, really refreshing to have an interface on Android that feels like an interface that I'm familiar with and comfortable using.